All right, it's time for another episode of Random Thoughts from a Crazed Mind, the worst video channel on YouTube. And today I'm going to be talking about what is the value of gold. Now, a lot of people love gold. A lot of people really believe in gold. Believe that gold is money, and that we should have the gold standard. And eventually, we will have the gold standard. That's basically what Bitcoin is about. Try to implement the gold standard because you can't do it through the government. So, we'll just create a gold standard, and then the whole world will have to be get, get on the gold standard because Bitcoin will take over. But what is the value of gold really? And the answer is that gold really has no value. Gold is not money. So what is the value of gold? Well, to understand the value of gold, you've got to go back into the past a long, long way um, when gold was a um, religious artifact, right? Before there was money, really before there were societies, you know, really top-down societies that we have today, there was gold. It's an item of worship. You were the, um, what gold represented was, I mean, it is, gold is really a beautiful object. You melt it down, it's really the ultimate form of beauty. Uh, if you are a primitive person, um, you know, you melt this down, you shine it up, and um, and then you make a, a representation of your god out of this gold. And that's where the value of gold comes from. It's a religious artifact, and people, even today, worship gold. That's what the whole gold bug thing is about. They're worshiping gold, ultimately. And they'll say that gold is money, but no. Gold is a representation of power. I mean, money is power, and gold is a representation of power. So gold um, was used by the powerful because the powerful wanted gold. I mean, even if you look at the Native Americans, for example, if you look at the Spaniards, the conquistadors, I forget the name of the Indian chief, um, but they had all of these items uh, that were basically tributes to the chief or basically tributes to their gods or, you know, their belief system. And they made these fantastic um, items that, that did not have monetary value. They didn't know of a monetary value to any of this stuff. It was all spiritual value. These were items of worship. These were items of reverence. And so, when, you know, when you have these items of reverence, then as a uh, as a powerful person, you want to surround yourself with these objects, and then that becomes the representation of. the representation of power and then that was ultimately what your money uh, ultimately ultimately that power of gold becomes the power of money becomes the item of a representation of the power of the king or the pharaoh or uh, whoever is the head honcho of the society right you know that um, you, their money is legit because it's shiny and it's got the head of the king or the uh, emperor stamped right on it. Oh yeah, that's money right there. He is right there. I mean, it's durable. It's melt. You can melt it. It's, it makes coins very easily. Obviously, I mean, it's the perfect item for money, right? So that's why uh, gold has been always to be considered to be money. Not because it was money, but because it represented money. Gold is not money, 
gold represents money, it represents power. It's just the way money has been created. It's not the gold that makes it valuable, it's the power of the government that makes money powerful. Because you have to have it. It's the only way to survive. So, ultimately, you know, gold is a religious artifact. I mean, ultimately, the reason that um, gold has power is because of religion. Because these were always items of worship. Ultimately, they became items of uh, you know, worship of the king. I mean, the king is always divine. So gold becomes divine. And then gold becomes money because it represents power. And then it gets confused as money because people confuse the gold as actually being the money. It's just not. The king is the money. The government is the money. The gold is not the money. The gold is just a item of worship. You know, even if you base your society on gold, you've got to have a government that decides that that that's going to be the money. You know, so it's not the gold that has value. It's the government that says that gold has value. If the, go if the government says gold has no value, it doesn't. That doesn't have anything. That's just the way that it works. And so, why does gold have value? Because gold is ancient, gold is shiny, people love shiny objects, and gold is a religious artifact, and people worship gold. They worship gold today, they'll probably worship gold a thousand years from now, but there's a good chance they won't. There's a good chance in a thousand years people would have figured this out, and that gold will not have any value at all. But anyway, that is the power of gold. That's what gold really is. And this has been another episode of Random Thoughts from a Crazy Mind, the worst video channel on YouTube. So long, YouTube.